Ah, Scunthorpe. Aside from having a swear word in its name, Scunny's perhaps best known for steelworks. Or what's left of them. It's not the easiest of places to work, but there's a good laugh. We all got on. Meet Dean. He used to work on the steelworks. Now he and his family get by on the social. And it's the same for most of the people he knows. Got no else to do up here but breed and feed, have we? <laughs> to survive, they've had to learn how to make their money stretch. Bit on the side, eh? chicken fillets, kid. Bye, bye, you do some links. The kids have found their own ways to enjoy themselves. Uh, officers, having a good day. There's always rough justice when it all gets on top. And if you really need a break, you can have one at Her Majesty's pleasure. What have you been arrested for? Shoplifting. They didn't Buckingham Palace, but if you scratch the surface, people are just trying to do the best with what they got, and they haven't got much. <laughs> for Dean, his wife, and their soon-to-be seven kids, and families just like them round the country, this is what it means to be skinned. At the heart of every community, there's a pub. On the Westcliff estate, it's the Desert Rat. In the last year or so, there's been so much trouble in here that the landlord gave up and closed it. Now Dean's wife's cousin, Denise, is giving it a go. And tonight's opening night. Dean! Yeah. You promise night? I'll be there, then. All right, baby. The reputation it's got has got a bad reputation. And it's, I'm trying to get the good reputation back. I want the bad ones out, the good ones back in. I mean, the sign alone has made a big difference. It really has made a big difference. Hopefully it will stay saying the desert rat and the letters won't get took down. Is it good to have a community pub back again? No, it's good to be cheap beers. <laughs> no cap. That's going to cause some right. That's going to cause some right mayhem. Everyone get in there, early morning, pissed up all day, out here, arrested, jail. <laughs> They've been out there. It's 11 o'clock this morning, thinking I was opening early. So, yeah, there'll be a good crowd in here tonight, definitely. My phone's never stopped. What time are you opening? What time are you opening? It's in the benches <laughs> around the back. Yeah, they've got, they've got benches around the back. They'll and be glued to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They'll get unscrewed and robbed in a couple of weeks. Here in Westley. Two pints and I'll be fighting. In your dressing gown? Maybe. <laughs> Depends what time it opens. The youngest of Dean's kids is only a few months old, so, as you can well imagine, Dean and his wife Claire don't get out much. Is it difficult being head of a large deck family? No. I just shut off sometimes. That's why I drink, but I, I've been a good boy, actually. I've stopped... I haven't had out for two nights. Have I? Two nights? Five of the seven are off to their dads tonight. So, for once, Claire and Dean can have a proper night out. You meant to have it open. It's trendy, funny. So, who's got the same dads in the, the cat of the kids? James, Danny, Leah, Harry. Yeah. Then it's Ben. And then there's um, Alfie. Was is to Nigel, one night stand. <laughs> I ain't even bothered. And then there's um, Har uh, Latham. How many kids? Latham and Hunter to Dean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, see you later. Yeah. Oh, be good. Yeah. See you later, Alfie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alfie. Yeah. Be a good boy, right? Yeah. Now, you couldn't say there's definitely going to be trouble tonight, but put it this way Denise is nervous and she's from Glasgow. I'm excited and I'm nervous. But once they're in, I'll be fine. It stinks of weed out here. Why does it smell like that? You smell like people out there. We won't be smoking that in here, that's for sure. I'm being fair letting you back in, so you be fair with me. Simple as, isn't it? Right. Right. Come on, we're ready for this. We are open. Hey, you bet.
Let's hope Denise can keep the peace in here, for everyone's sake. To be honest, all the wee hooligans that everybody thought were going to cause trouble were spot on. They were absolutely spot on. Very proud of them and I just hope they keep it up. <laughs> It's great to see so many old faces in here. There's people that's not been in here for years to come in tonight. It was brilliant to see them. As Westcliff wakes up to its hangover, it's back to the boarding for some. Outside the pub, there's a low wall where everyone hangs out. It may be small, but it's a big part of Westcliff life. What happens at the wall? Everything. What doesn't happen at the wall? Everything. And Come at nine o'clock in the morning, you see everyone cash a gyros. They have all the money out, so they fucking queue up on the wall, wait for the drugs, drink the beer, sit on the wall and gout. Kieran was a wall regular. He grafts to feed a drug habit, mostly shoplifting. A prolific thief has been sold to breach his antisocial behaviour order at his peril. At least he did, till it landed him with an asbo. My shoplifting, it wasn't just going into a shop. To me, it, be it became a game. I'd go into any shop on the high street and take a rack of jackets, come out on the push bike, boom, gone. I, I, I would do that because I had an addiction. To get to my chemist, it should take me five, ten minutes to get there. But because of the Asbo zone, it will take me 25, 30 minutes because I'm not allowed near Scunthorpe Town Centre. I've got to do it daily. I enjoy the walk when it's not raining. This side, I'm allowed on, but that's a breach. Half the road. I breached it. If Kieran is caught breaching his ASBO, he's going straight to prison. So he's trying really hard to stay out of trouble and volunteering at a Christian centre. Wait, you have to miss Jason, don't you? Well, oh. <laughs> that is my middle name, apparently. <laughs> right, OK. I've had a bad time, but I know what I'm doing now. Good, you're on the right road. Yeah. I'm not a saint, but... We're not saints either. <laughs> Activity a day for me will stop me hunting drugs, stop people coming out. I just avoid people. I'm working and they're not, and they're chaotic on drugs, so I can avoid them anyway. <laughs> From now on, it is the right choice at the right time. This isn't the first time Kieran's tried getting clean, and the odds aren't exactly stacked in his favour. No, I'd just be a druggie. I think so. Smoke weed, smoke crap, pack a bit of gear, drink beer, and you're good. All good. It's basically, you have to do what you have to do, don't you? To earn money, do whatever. People work, people fucking screw the social, people do whatever, you know what I mean? I'd rather work for a living, get a nice wage at the end of the week, but at the moment, there's just not many jobs going about, you know what I mean? Dean may not have a job just now, but he's definitely a worker. And he expects his kids to be workers too. And they can start by helping him out round the house. Normal people get pocket money, yeah? But normal people tidy the bedroom. Yeah, I do. Do you, Leah? I do. Right, should we go upstairs then and have a look at the bedroom? Yeah. Wonder why? <laughs> Dean, Leah wants to know why she doesn't get pocket money. I don't know. Really? 
Why don't your dad give you pocket money? I don't know. So why should I give you pocket money? Why should I give you pocket money for doing fuck all? I don't see why they should come out from school, sit on the settee watching telly all night when they could be tidy in the room or do you want the shoe cupboard tidying? Do you want the floor brushing Dean? Just to help me out. I would give him pocket money. Harry used to get three quid a week for brushing the kitchen floor every morning. Now he doesn't do bugger all. He can't be asked. Didn't you, Harry? Yeah? So is that sort of work ethic that you're sort of trying to breathe, like drum into your kids? Yeah, you don't get nothing for nothing, do you? You get me? I don't want them to be slaves or like that, but earn the money. It's only fair. If you want to know what it does to a young family when there's no work, then Claire's cousin Shane is really struggling with it just now. Today's his daughter's first birthday party, so he's putting a brave face on it. No problem. We're bringing them back down to your house next week and we're going to shove them up your fucking ass. <laughs> Just rocking our son for her first birthday, but, but I didn't want to rush it, so I ain't got it finished, you know, on time. A little diamond eyes, diamond eyelashes. But she's my little girl, so she's like a little diamond, isn't she? The truth is, after seven jobless months, Shane's hit rock bottom and he and Leanne have split. I'm not someone that'll sit on his ass, you know. I'll go out there and I'll I'll get a job. But at the moment, I'm just getting kicked back, you know, I'm getting shitty emails, unfortunately, and, you know, we're unable to process this and that. It's really pissed me off, to be fair, so... You know, if we're getting like that... Well, it's, you know, it started me drinking, to be honest. Yeah. I've just gone through a stage where I've been drinking a lot. And I weren't drinking to dry myself, I was drinking to suppress the fucking pissed... You know, how pissed off I am and how depressed I am getting. You know, I've been seeing that, and I've said to them, listen, mate, I need something to fucking calm my nerves. You know, I'm 23 years old, I shouldn't have, even have to be at the doctors, you know, asking them to give me something for depression or anything like that. But I'm not letting it go, I'm going to hold on, you know. Hey. I'm British, you know, I'm like a staff, and I'll lock my jaw, and I'll make sure I just keep a grip of life. And that's what I'm doing, you know, chin up. Yeah. Happy days. You know, I'm like a bank with no cash. I can just say it like that, I'm like a bank with no cash, like a curtain without a rail, like a door without an handle. You know, at the end of the day, I'm just, I'm just that person with the, the one thing missing. I need a stable job so I can support my family better, you know? Shane's dad moved to Abu Dhabi, then India, to find work. But being apart from your family for years at a time is a high price to pay. It's hard for us to see him like this because we, I know I had him in Abu Dhabi with me for three and a half years and I know he works like a little soldier. And it's so hard to come home and see him in such a state. Why did you come back to Scotland? Um, do you want the honest answer? Fill on. That's the honest answer. Since Shane and Leanne split, Shane's been even more determined to get a job and get his life back together. Yeah. I know he's tried for loads of jobs. I've seen the emails. He copies me in on all the emails in India. It's very difficult for all the kids coming up these days. You know, I see so many people out of work. I can't believe how many people are out of work. I can't honest. To say, well, it was a thriving, Scunthorpe was a thriving town so many years, you know, 10 or 15 years ago, you, it was bustling. And say bye-bye to Nanny Grandad. Now you go down the city centre, it's nearly empty. Take it easy, Mum. Love you both. See you later. Wherever there's no jobs, there's usually an army recruiting office. Mind you, even they're getting picky nowadays. Squad, by the left. Quick march. Dean's eldest stepson, James, will be leaving school in a few weeks to join Scunthorpe's job queue and reckons he's more likely to get into the army than into college. Right, left, right, left, right. I think it'll either make or break him. If that falls through, he's going to be knackered, isn't he? Because he's got nothing else to choose. 
I'm sure you don't want to end up on the wall around there with a can of beer. I want to join my best mates. Yeah. You'll be laughing, mate. If that happens to you, what are you going to say? You're going to look like a rat clown, aren't you, if that does happen? Do you know what? It won't happen to me. I don't want it to, mate. I don't want to waste my life. Exactly. That's why I'm bothered about you choosing what you want to do. Maybe we don't get on sometimes, but when we do get on, I, I want the best for you. Do, 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 do. No one teaches you how to be a father, you just have to figure it out for yourself. It's a learning curve. Addiction's a tough nut to crack, and it looks like Kieran's having a wobble on his road to recovery. This is a cracker. Well, this is someone in recovery showing you how stupid it is to smoke crack and waste it and how quick it goes. This is how quick I could burn my money if I was a crackhead. That's a fibre. Because half of it's there. And stupid people have a pipe after pipe after pipe, yeah? I couldn't care less if I throw that down the sink, but I won't, yeah? I'll have the other pipe, yeah? So do you still have a habit? No. This is never happening in my life again. I buy. I didn't start committing offences till I was probably, what, 14, 15? After my mother died when I was nine, we'd been swimming that Sunday, because it was an activity we did that day. Three of us. Um, Rob was 10, I was eight, nearly nine, and Neil, I think, was 14, 15, my sister's friend. We sat at the bus, stage, uh, bus stop waiting for the bus, and that car, it hit the central reservation in the middle, and then next thing it's hitting us. He got crushed into the bush out and spat out. And he, every bone in his body was crushed. My mum took it badly. She was sitting in our bedroom and mine and my brothers, sitting on his bed on a night time, distraught, crying. Everything I loved <coughs> got took. And here I am today at 34, off drugs. But I've done it for my reasons. You can stereotype all you want, I'm clean. I had like an epiphany the other day, right? And I was just thinking, everything must be about money. And it is, isn't it? If you don't have money, you can't eat. If you don't have money, you can't go out and have a drink. If you don't have money, you can't buy shit for people. You know what I'm saying? So basically, I've worked out that. People say life's not just about money, but that's bullshit. Because life is about money, and that's the fucking truth. The problem with having no job is that you've got time to dwell on what you haven't got, whether it's money, girlfriends, or drugs. Like Kieran, Shane's trying to fill his time, but he ain't volunteering at no Christian centre. If I were doing cage fighting, I'd be fucking fuming. I'd be a walking fucking time bomb. Inside, deep inside, there's a fucking... There's an animal that's raging. I've learned how to channel manga, you know, when I need it the most. You know, there's times now when, I can, when I've normally been getting angry and pissed off at things, you know, scum for, you know, the, the fact that it's got no fucking jobs whatsoever, you know, it's, it's taught me how to channel it. You know, if I can get further on in the spot, you know, we'll take it as a career, you know, because it's something I enjoy doing. Watch out. Watch yourself. Watch your fingers. Fingers. I mean, how different would life be if you had money coming? <coughs> Mate, I'll tell you what, yeah. Me and Leanne won't be fighting every fucking two minutes and splitting up and fucking that shite. We'd have more of a life. I'll be able to give the kids more of a life. I'll be able to get a car back on the road. We'd be able to take them out places, you know, the zoo and that. I want to be a dad, you know. 
The moment I can't do that. School's broken up for the summer and the wall's heaving on sunny days. But it's crunch time for Dean's eldest, James. He's finished his exams and needs to get his army forms in. <laughs> Gunnar Kluman's my first choice. Uh, military well, engineer yeah, is my second choice. And my third choice is infantry soldier. Dan, you've got to have qualifications though to go in there. <laughs> They'll train him up to do that. Right, but ideally, where would you like to be? Uh, yeah. front. Front. Yeah, front line. Front line. In a tank. Yeah. And you want in, in a Well, tank. no, I want it. No, I'd, I'd like to have a go in, in a tank, but I'd, I'd prefer actually running about well, shooting. Then, not uh, what does discharge? I went to the guard room a few times, all that was. What does yeah. discharge mean? Oh, Are you yeah, taking the piss? No. I didn't read it properly. <laughs> what does discharge mean? <laughs> I didn't read it properly, calm down. Ever since I've been little, I, I've always. I don't know why, but I just wanted to be in the army. I'm not really, like, bothered about dying or anything. If you only got one life, so might as well live it. Even if that means sort of getting killed. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, can I help you? Um, I've come to drop my medical farm now. Rich or poor, it's tough being 16. But maybe there's a bit more to this army thing than James realises. Desert Rat has been open a few months now. But Denise has had a hell of a rough time of it. I've been attacked. Daughter's been attacked. Window's been smashed. Twice. Just because somebody's naughty boy telling me go to the pub, they don't like it, so they think I'll go smash my windows. I mean, these are my lovely four windows that was all put through before. I've kept them for seven years. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, stupid idiots. This is the one that's got me mad. I mean, it just looks to use like a normal window, but this actually leads up to my my home. And obviously, if we were walking through with the tills, my daughter or anybody, this whole place was just covered in glass. So we could have all been shattered with the glass. They just don't like to be told what to do. They don't like me going up and saying, go to my pub, because in their eyes, I think I'm better than everybody else. No, I don't, I'm doing a job and I'm working my tits off to try and keep this pub going, trying to get everybody back together. I don't know what they want anymore. They just want to be able to go drink, drugs, fight. How's Dean this morning? Maddie, stress, weird. Fucking hell. It's pouring with rain, tempers are fraying. Must be time for a family holiday. Just fucking do it and shut your fucking mouth. Fuck off. Fuck's sake. Oh, <laughs> fucking bollocks. Right. Then. You're not taking a fucking football. Fuck off. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Uh... <laughs> They've got a car off the neighbours, but it seems it's given James another reason to whinge. Oh, I'm gonna get pissed off in a minute. You're like a two-year-old that doesn't get his own. You don't get your own way because you want to sit where you want to fucking sit. Dickhead. What's the matter, James? Nothing. Can't sit where you want to sit. No, I don't want to sit in the middle because I want to sit. Dean, is it important to get a family holiday? No. What? I wish I'd never fucking done it. Because <laughs> we're all fucking whinging, fucking whining up. Dean. Are you looking forward to it, Dean? No. Dean. I'm not looking forward to it now. I'm not. All I do is whinge and fucking piss at man. Can you watch the bus? Woo! Dean! 
It's amazing how many people can fit in a caravan, trust me. Yeah. Just like, sleep while you're dropping it. How many we had in the car? We had 15 in last time, didn't we? James can sleep underneath the caravan in his sleeping bag, he'll be alright. And I'm sure Dean will fall asleep pissed up on the toilet or something, so. <laughs> Oh, outside of the fire. Yeah, Take it. Away. It's too heavy for me. Alfie! Get in! Get in! Get in! As you can see, you're making loads of progress. Some people never get a break. Kieran's been thrown out of his sheltered accommodation, and with no one to turn to, he's on the street. If I'm bothered about my life, I wouldn't give a fuck. But the progress I make don't make me fuck all those people like that. Hatred, that, that's one of the big things that go through my mind. All Kieran's got to keep him going is a nicked watermelon and a pocket full of Valium tablets. I, I'd, I'd have preferred uh, being in prison rather than being out here having all the bullshit with the housing, the petty rules and the housing, stuff like that. My, my ultimate goal is to be away from heroin, away from the chemist. I can then get a job, I can then get everything else that I want. Not my dad, my sister, my other sister, and my, my nan and uh, stuff like that. I want the family unit back, which I haven't had for years. But, but within a mile, there's four deaths in our family. And I, I, I don't want to be one of the fifth. One more battery. Yeah, should have put two in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to the old man's Are you flying pellets out of that? Yeah. Go around the side and do it. All right. All right. All right. It's just a break from home, isn't it? It's, it's getting away from that shithole. You get me? I call it a shithole. I've lived there all my life. You stood in the front room, by the way. <laughs> First sat at the dining room. This is our cooking facilities, obviously. Jan! Like They're filming. Just open the door a minute and we'll get you in the shower. Can't wait to see your fucking nipples. That's the shower room. Jan's in there at the minute. No! Oh, hey! Whoa, that's more than I needed to see. <laughs> fucking hell, I haven't seen them for fucking 37 years. Who's in there? My mum! <laughs> Oh, I'll yeah, take you it. into Lee's bedroom then and I'll sniff Jan's knickers out. Oh, shit up your pervert. Hey, Janice, where's your thongs? Oh, found your bra. Hey! Yeah, this is Lee and Janice's rooms, the spawny bastards. 
didn't even offer no else. Me and Claire slept on the fucking floor last night. Like Do you want me to take over for a minute? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is my back. Yeah. Fucking whinged about the caravan before we come here. Got no, in the, I didn't. Got in the caravan, he went, oh, he's better than a fart. So I didn't whinge about it then, did yes, I? Yes, he did. No, I didn't. And he was whinging where we sleep. Don't worry, Lee, you can have the fucking bedroom. <laughs> Tell me I'm full of shit. You're full of shit. Swear down on your son's life, you didn't whinge. I swear down on my son's life, I whinged a bit. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> How many people were staying in here tonight? One, two, three, four, five, six adults. Yeah. Eleven kids. <laughs> Lathan, turn that off now, so I'm going to ram it up your ass. You've just been firing it in the caravan bedroom. Now he's just shot him in the back. Did I shoot him? Did no. I shoot him? No, you shot in the caravan bedroom. No, I, I tell you it, now, if you fucking get it, fuck off. You've had your fucking money. Yeah, you you bought a stupid go. fucking gun. Bye. Yeah, you go by. Oh, you you fucking go. retard. Fucking hell, some kind of fucking matter about that. No, yeah, you're, you're yeah. solid, aren't you, Dean? Just because you got big yeah. muscles and that and showing them off. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. off. You're that clever. You can't get it in your head, can you? You're shooting in a caravan that ain't just even you ours. Shot. You wanted to start shoot, shouting at me no, to get all your anger off you. I've just told fucking you... Rory off. Oh, yeah. So I get the most of it, do I? Because you're shooting in a caravan. This way. Thankfully, Kieran's got himself together enough to borrow a tent. Who did you borrow the tent from? Uh, my mate is his pee. Poop with scoop bags, which is always helpful. Kieran, when was the last time you put a tent up? It was about seven. Um, why am I doing it wrong? Have, have, have you seen the bedroom? Does she look cosy? Right, that's that. Are you happy with the spot you've chosen tonight? Uh, quite, quite ecstatic, actually. Volume. Ten, ten, ten mil volume. Five times ten is fifty. I'm not that bored about having the fag. I'm not going to. Good night, Bob Ellen. Good night, Sue Ellen. Good night, Grandpa. their three days, it's time for Dean and his family to go home to Scunny. And who knows, by next year, James could be off getting shot at instead of fighting with his family. Shane's cage fighting is getting more serious. He's got his first amateur fight in a couple of weeks. He's progressed really well. Um, you know, I feel good about Shane going out there and being able to show what he's capable of doing. It means a lot to him. Um, you know, it's it's a step in the right direction for him. Ever since he, he got on the MMA mat, I think it's, it's given him a kick up the arse. It all boils down to him just having a, a real good focus. He's, he's very explosive. 
Kid's got heart, and I think he can do very well. Seems like Shane's finally found his calling, which is more than you can say for James. He's the first of Dean and Claire's brood to leave school, but it looks like he's fallen at the first hurdle. How are you doing your GCSEs, James? Yeah. Uh, not well. Not well. Not well at all. <laughs> as well as getting only one D, his army career is on its arse before it even began. After all his plans, he didn't even bother turning up for the interview. So did you decide not to go for the army this, this time round? Yeah, because I know for a fact I'm going to fail. What are you going to do then, just sit around and bum like you have been doing, watching films all night and getting up at four o'clock in the afternoon? Don't fucking think so. I'm not fitting off yet, so... What do you mean you're not fitting off yet? You can get fucking fit in the army, you fit git. Yeah, but... What are you going to do for money? Yeah. You're not bumming off me. I've got no chance. You find your own way, you're going to be a bum. That means you have to go sit round on the corner and catch money for a can of beer. You won't be able to have money for... Yeah. Top up your phone. Oh, yeah, I don't know. You won't be able to buy new clothes. No deodorants. No I won't buy your own deodorants anymore. He ain't got his head on, has he? But well, I'm not looking after him. The free ride's going to stop, sir. No. <laughs> Sorry, mate, that out bums. Now you want to borrow my bike, you want to talk to me. Don't wear that, don't wear that way, bum. See you, bum out. Hey, take that cut with you for the coin. <laughs> <laughs> It's the night before Shane's big fight, and he's popped round to Dean's for some last-minute advice. Oh, this is my walkout tune, and this is what I'm thinking Does of. Has anyone else heard it? No, no, no one yet. No one? No one's heard it yet. This oh, is I'll put it on. Just tonight. You're letting me and Claire yeah, listen just, to it. Just, just, just tonight I decided what, which one's going to be. Track number 16. Try it. This one. Fuck, going to go and smash this. This makes me so angry. Wait, it kicks in this. You listen to this when it kicks in. Sick. Can you imagine how loud it's going to be and all that fucking bass? It's going to be sick. And it'll be in my head. It's sick. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Feel all right? Yeah. Not too tight? No, it's all right. I'll show you what you Medical wrap ensures that his hands are protected during the fight, giving the most support possible so he can punch as hard as he possibly can. <laughs> it's sometimes easier to break your own hand than it is to knock your opponent out. I'll show you They all think I'm a pretty boy, you know, too pretty to do it, but. What's wrong with being good looking and like to fight? Training, fighting, sorts his head out. He's there for his kids, he's absolutely brilliant dad. So he's got it sorted now. I've never seen him so happy. Time to do the business, boys. Time to do the business. Would you all please welcome the first fighter into the cage, Shane Dent.
Rock might be under the chin there. Could be all over here for Shane Ben. He's looking to punch his way out of it, but I don't think it's going to work. That choke is tight. He think could it, go out here, Jay. I think he's going out. There we go. The fight's over. He is asleep. Michael Evans takes the win. What an opening bout here at AFC 10. Put Shane Dent to sleep with a rear naked choke. I'm fucking proud of you. I wanted to win though, you know. Hey, it'll come. It'll yeah. come when it's your time, you know. Good on you. Cheers, man. <laughs> Kieran's finally got a drier roof over his head. He's been rehoused in a shared house, but it ain't all good news. The other residents were arrested for drug dealing yesterday, and a previous occupant has left some belongings behind. Hang on. Prostitutes. On seeing that. <laughs> I don't think I want to venture any further. <laughs> It'll be easy to judge them on the wall, but it ain't as simple as that. What else is there for them to do? There's no jobs, no prospects of getting a job. They just sit here, have a drink, dwell over what they can't have. It's their way of passing the time. Do you, worry, do you worry that James might end up here? Not if I've got out to do with it. I will give him that kick up the ass that he needs soon. I'm letting him have his bit of, bit of freedom, so he says he wants, but he'll only push me so far, and then I'll give him that kick up the ass. Even his mum said we're not bringing a bum up. To be fair, we're like warehouse, like I, I don't know, like warehouse men, aren't we? After nine months of searching, Shane finally landed himself a job. It's fucking freezing, but it's it's mint, you know. When you're shifting boxing that you warm up, and then you'll go do some rework, and then you'll move pallets, you know, and you'll you'll go picking. I'm happy, happy. I'm, I'm happy. I've got a job. These are small ones. Yeah. But it's come at the right time for me. Not everything's fucking pretty rolls is like, but you know, from where I've come from, my life's gone well better. Every time I get paid now every week, I've got money for the kids, you know what I mean? Christmas is just like poof, like an avalanche of just fucking loads of toys and sweets and you know, it's gonna be like fucking wonderland. We're gonna love it. Who can believe it? One year today. It's not easy being skint. You haven't got jobs or foreign holidays, but at least you've got your mates. Life can be tough, and tougher when you've got no one around to support you. Alone, a small slip can turn into a big fall very quickly. No-one can say family life is easy. But for all the dramas and the rows and the fighting, you'd always rather be with them than without them. I'd have to be earning five, six hundred quid a week now, and there's not a job in Scully that I'd pay that. Is it's not a new fucking trend, is it? All your windows smashed. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Yeah, you fucking perv. <laughs>